different first half to second half? Uh, yeah, it was. We were moving the ball. It was easy offense for us early in the game. Uh, I don't know what our assist total was in first half compared to the second half, but I assume it was uh, a lot better in the first half than it was in the second half. They slowed us down with their switching and whatnot, and um, we slowed down. And that's that was uh, very problematic for us. We can't allow switching to slow us down. We have to continue to push the ball at the floor, get to our driving kick game, make the extra pass, and then we just kind of got um, st stuck. Jonathan Fagan. Along those same lines, then to execute down the stretch in a fourth quarter, is it just a different thing than the first 42 minutes of a game? 100%. I mean, you know, um, you, I, and I told the team this after the, the game, we were tight as, as meaning we were tied together um, for 40 minutes of the game. And that last eight minutes or so, we just, I wouldn't necessarily say let go of the rope, but we weren't as tight. And in the fourth quarter, that's when you become even closer and more tied together and all of the things that you need to do to win a game down the stretch. And you see the veteran savvy of their guys in the fourth quarter compared to our, our group who is younger and uh, we're learning. So we need to learn from this situation. And um, that's two fourth quarters in a row that, um, that we've struggled. So we gotta make sure that we're coming together in the fourth quarter and really have that attention to detail that we uh, that we had throughout the game because we played a good game like we were switching defenses and doing a lot of different things and we were on it you know we, we really did a good job throughout the game and we just need to uh, learn how to close. Kelly Eco. Hey coach you kind of talked about the need to learn um, overall how would you assess Kevin's Kevin's game it was a big night sure but it seemed like he went through his progressions well he played with poise how would you assess his overall performance i thought he was really good i mean controlled the game made plays for others he has a i mean he's so big i guess he has an interesting knack of like when he gets to the hoop of hanging and finishing and getting in there and making plays um he was he was definitely good cody davis Hey, Coach, um, from what you can see over there on the sideline, what do you feel needs to change in order to keep this team a little bit more consistent on the offensive side of the ball? Having the same group on the floor um, for more than a game at a, at a time. Adam Spolin. Some of the, the late game execution, like you talked about, how do you get a team to, I, I guess, maybe slow down a little bit and, and not – get tight in those spots you have to go through it you have to experience it you have to um learn from every experience that you have and uh, obviously we haven't won a lot of games this season and coming down the stretch of a game that we really battled hard to uh to win we have to really go through these experiences in order for us to grow in order for these young guys who we have, I mean, you, you look out there and Christian's a, a younger player and just kind of getting himself established and doing a great job. But then we also have KP who's young and Jay Sean Tate who's young and then House and Brown. Those, those are, that was our, our finishing group. So um, yeah, they just got to go through it. You've played in some close games now this last week. Do you feel like you have been better in the fourth quarter, you know, tonight as opposed to, to Minnesota? Do you feel like you've progressed in, in that? Yeah. I mean, I think, I, I think our issues tonight were more defensive than offensive in the fourth quarter. And it's usually been flipped, right? Usually we're, struggling offensively and um the defense is it's coming pretty is going pretty good for us we were switching from man to zone and 
doing all these different things. And uh, we just had a few defensive breakdowns, whereas if we get the stop, then we're able to play better offense. So I think it was more uh, the defense in the fourth quarter as opposed to the offense. And as far as um, your question, like the offense is getting there, it's it's better. I mean, we just kind of look a little bit more tied together and that will in, improve as we go along. But fourth quarters are a hard thing. And it's to the previous question, in order to get to execution and to get to where we need to be, we got to go through these situations and learn from them. Thank you, Coach.